Hi friends, today we are going to solve the problem statement name merge to shorted linked list which is a part of linked list from the data structure. The problem statement given here is that given two pointers of head of two sorted linked list merge them into a single sorted linked list. Either head pointer may be null meaning that the corresponding list is empty. So once we have read the problem statement, we will start coding. So the first statement would be the condition if both of the head nodes of both of the head of head one and head two both are null. What would be the situation in that? Head one is none and head two is in this case we will return none once this is done the next statement would be if head one is none just let it give a little bit gap for the ease of readability would be returning head 2 in the similar way if head 2 is none Oops, spelling error ok this is done now the main statement if head one dot data less than head two now you are checking means the values of both of the list whichever value is greater will be appending to an another list so this is the basic idea then the smaller node next value would automatically become we are applying recursion here and similarly it will be done for the else statement also This code is very simple, it is very self explanatory. I guess once you have done that, we will submit the code. Yes, so here there is a problem. If we if we unlock the test cases, we will be able to see that the total number of recursion values, this total number of values in the list are, are huge numbers. So we, could, we will do one thing, which is called setting the recursion depth. So it will set a recursion depth of says dot set re recursion limit to probably 1000. Let's try it 1000. Okay. Didn't work. Maybe we have to set the limit to a huge value. 10,000. Yeah. So what was happening is that it was not able to, to go to a recursion limit of huge amount of values. So the depth uh, in basically Python total number of recursion levels are limited. 
you cannot perform more number of levels unless you externally specify that so this was the basic idea so that's why you have to set the total number of recursion limit and once you have said that we will just submit the code and it will pass all the test cases successfully as i've already shown you so again thanks for watching the video uh, please comment below uh, any feedback you would like to give me which would be helping which would help me to improve and in a similar way please share me some better ideas of doing the same problem in a bit much better easier way which would be which would make other people which would be easier to understand by most of the people who are would not be from a very good technical background or basically would be a starter in these type of concepts for them to be easier to understand easier to grasp and send me your feedback so that i could improve and as always thanks for watching and stay tuned